Hello everyone, I'm Tim, the Minnesota firefighter with the arm form of melanoma cancer. Uh, today I'm going to make a, another attempt at a little bit of humor, however lame it might be. Uh, firefighters are known for their sense of humor in the face of difficult topics and situations. Earlier this year I attended an annual event for one of the local fire departments. I was catching up with various people during the social hour before dinner uh, when B and T, two of my friends, uh, approached. Like most of us uh, that were there, they were wearing these name tags uh, that you take a pen and, and write and stick it on, but each of these guys also had a second name tag. As it got closer, I could see that the one read lefty and the other read righty, and so naturally being curious, I asked, hey, what's with the name tags? Uh, so B takes the lead by saying, well, you know, when we respond to a fire, my crew can only search to the left. And then... T says, yeah, when, when my crew gets there, we can only search to the right. So, you know, I know sometimes I'm a little slow at first, and so I was a little bit confused by what they meant. And so I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm like, what? They didn't say anything more. They just uh, stood there grinning at me as I, I thought about it. And I, I knew a few years ago Tom had taken leave from the fire department uh, because of a, a health issue. I don't get too deep into person, personal lives of, of the people I'm, I'm friends with, but I remembered that Tom had a close call with cancer. Suddenly it dawned on me what they were talking about. As I stood there flat-footed, they, they continued smiling, and, and Brian said, Yep, uh, they found I had cancer uh, in, in uh, early February with one of my testicles, and and they removed it later in the month. Uh, Tom said, yeah, that's that he had experienced the same thing a few years earlier and had also lost a testicle to cancer. So suddenly I, I realized that they're sharing their individual cancer journey with me. Uh, we've known each other for quite a while, and I, I consider them to be pretty good friends. So I figured, well, if they're able to joke about it, maybe I can have a little fun too. So, so I look at B and I said, yeah, you know, you brought this on yourself. Uh, he, he looked uh, a little puzzled, so I continued, Well, you know, this, this is what you get when you say, I'd give my left nut not to have what Tim and Steve have. Uh, Steve's a fellow firefighter. He's traveled a long and difficult uh, road with his form of cancer, and I'm in the middle of my melanoma journey. So uh, maybe it isn't right to poke fun uh, of the situation, but I've said it before. You know, we can laugh or we can cry. Uh, in my case, I've been so blessed with the path that, that I'm on, it, it's not the typical melanoma experience. Uh, I try to find humor when possible, and this seemed like a good opportunity that it just couldn't let slip away. Uh, Steve and I are doing well at this point, and only time will re review where the journey takes us. As far as testicular cancer is concerned, it's not a laughing matter. Uh, firefighters are one and a half to two times more likely to develop testicular cancer than the general population. In fact, the Canadian Cancer Society lists uh, firefighting as one of the possible risk factors for testicular cancer. Uh, the good news is when you find it early, treatment, usually, treatment has a high survivability rate, uh, although treatment usually involves surgical removal. So back to the lefty and righty situation from earlier in the story. So again, I uh, hope everybody's having a good day, and um, hopefully you can see a little bit of humor in this.